Hi, I'm Carl from Coastlines and Tan Lines, and I'm in Grenada today tasting rum. It's a really tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I've been drinking Clark Quartz rum uh, while I've been in uh, Grenada. Specifically, I've been drinking your uh, the Dark Spice, and I've really been loving it. So I thought I'd come by the distillery here, and you can see they have one heck of a lineup, and I'm going to do my best uh, this morning to drink some great uh, Grenadian rum. So hey, I'm Carl. I'm Kellen. Great to meet you. So what do we have here? Well, we have a wide range of our products. Well, these here are the lighter mixed rums, or yeah. the sweet, the ladies' drinks. We have a liqueur here. Cool. We have our five-year-old old rum. Sure. This is your best rum, or uh... Uh, no. no? We have an eight-year-old, but this is one of our premium rums. Okay. okay. I'll be Eight, sure to five buy. Years. I'll be sure to buy that eight-year-old rum before I leave here. Tell me about this is a five year old? Yes. It is. Aged in oak bourbon barrels. Okay. Where's the oak from? American oak. Okay. Got a nice nose. It's got a pretty sweet. Um, well, as the rum ages, it gets smoother. Sure. It's very smooth. This is really good. Excellent. All right, nothing like uh, rum for breakfast, right? <laughs> now I've been drinking the heck out of this, so I think I know what that tastes like. Can we try a little of the white? Sure. Thank you. Tell us, how long has uh, the distillery been in operation here in Grenada? Since 1937. 1937, excellent. And I know your your dark rum is pretty popular in town at very, all the rum shops. Very, well, it would be the special dark rum and the pure white rum. Well, this is the original rum that we made at this story. Okay, right. so that'll be the next one we taste, uh, right? We have the original one, and then we have a more refined blend. Okay, well, let's try the original one. Okay, can we try that? Sure. It'll be a good co uh, compare and contrast. So this light rum is 80, pr 80 proof. Yes. So we have a little of the original. Okay, and what's the proof of this? 138 proof. Nice. Now I'm really gonna feel it. <laughs> so this um, this is less refined, so you just got more of the heads and tails of the distilling process in it. A bit. Okay. Yeah, I can. Uh, strong. Meant to Good. be a mixer. Sure, absolutely. I better not drink all that. A long day in front of us. So I'm looking at two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen different bottles here, huh? <laughs> well, actually, it's it's thirteen different rums. Thirteen different rums. Okay. And your primary rum is uh, from molasses. Yeah. Okay. Rum industrial. Oh, that's much smoother. Definitely taste. And is that still hundred? Still 138 proof. Yeah. Okay. It's more refined. Absolutely. Well, I can really feel that one going in my head. <coughs> Super. And uh, what else do you have down there that we should we taste? Well, there's our spicy rum, which is also 138 proof. Okay. But this one, this one is cured with spices. Okay. So there's nutmeg, cinnamon, and mace. Okay. I'd love to try that. So this one will give you an extra bird. Excellent. For those of you who don't know, um, one of the best ways to infuse flavor into rum is you have to be at a higher proof. If you try to infuse your own flavors at home with a lower proof rum, you're just not going to get there. But you can actually buy your own high proof white rum at higher quality, sort of like uh, this, this pure one that we just tried, and then instill with your own uh, ideas as well. Just uh, like I said, use the higher proof rums. So this has uh, the local spices in it, the nutmeg, some mace maybe, yeah. cinnamon. All of them. Wow. You get an added burn all the way to the same proof. Really, really like that. For an overproof rum, yeah. it's really flavorful. That's, that's a home run for me. I might have to take a bath. I don't think, there's a possibility, you have to be careful when you're in the islands, you want to take rum home. Airlines don't always let you take the higher proof rums home because of fire hazard uh, in the in the uh, in the hold. Well, it's 70 and under. 70 and under. 
Excellent. All right. Well, I'd take a. I'd like to go take a look at uh, a little bit of the, the uh, facilities. Maybe take some uh, still photographs. Sure. Really appreciate the time that you spent with me. This is a great rum lineup. Like I said, I've been drinking this one all week. All right. I'm gonna buy myself an eight-year-old and uh, enjoy it back at home when I go. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Take care. And if you guys see Clark's Court in any uh, of your uh, liquor stores in your hometown, don't walk by it in the aisle. Pick up a bottle and uh, highly recommend it. 